In this video, I want to show you how to enable Hyper-V in Windows 10. Hyper-V is only available in Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise and Education. To check your Windows version, in the search box type sysinfo and click system information and you'll find the Windows version on the top line. Here I have Windows 10 Enterprise, so it will support it. And then to check if virtualization is enabled, right click the taskbar and choose performance and task manager. And here you see virtualization is enabled. In case virtualization is not enabled in your PC, you need to go to your PC's BIOS and enable the virtualization. Here I have a Dell PC, so when it starts, I need to press F12, it might be different for your PC, and then select BIOS setup, and go down to virtualization support, and then select to enable everything underneath it. So first enable Intel virtualization technology, and then the other two options are to enable direct access to hardware for virtualized VMs. Now you need to enable Hyper-V in Windows features. Go to the search box and type Hyper-V, choose Windows features, and then go to Hyper-V, make sure everything is selected under Hyper-V, and then click OK. So select Hyper-V, and click OK. It takes a minute to install. Once it is installed, you need to restart your computer. Once your computer restarts, go to the search box and type Hyper-V and choose Hyper-V Manager. In Hyper-V Manager, you need to create a virtual network. So click on Virtual Switch Manager, click on New Virtual Network, and then choose External. This is to create an external network so that you can access the internet from within your virtual machine. Name it whatever you want. Make sure you select external and then click OK. The changes will be applied and your virtual machines can access the internet. I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching.